Welcome biologists. Today we're going to be looking at the cell cycle and how the cell cycle is regulated. This is taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology specification A. We're looking at cell division. So the cell cycle, this is made of four main parts. So we've got G1, S and G2 which compromise our makeup interface and this is where the cell spends the majority of its lifetime within interface. After interphase, we have mitosis, which you learn about at GCSE, which, which produces two daughter cells that are genetically identical. And you'll learn more about the process of mitosis in the next specification point C, if you want to look at that video. This is what the G2 and G1, S and M stand for. But on the next side, we're going to look at them in a lot more detail in terms of what goes on in each of those stages. So the first one, G1 phase, which you can see here, this is G1. This is where we get growth of a cell, growth of organelles, increase in number of organelles and protein synthesis. Anything in a red box is taken directly from the mark scheme. It's well worth paying attention to. In our G2 phase, I know I've skipped S for a second, just bear with me, but in the G2 phase here, very similar to the G1 phase, except for at the end here, I get spindle formation. So the spindle can start to form. And again, you'll learn more about the role of the spindle when we get on to mitosis, which is specification point C. So in between G1 and G2 phase, we have the S phase, which is DNA replication. And you learned about semi-conservative replication of DNA back in the nucleic acid topic if you did want to look at the video and recap but the main thing here that we need to know about is to why this goes on is so that each of the daughter cells have the same or identical DNA and that they have a full copy of that DNA or a full set of chromosomes so anything in a red box don't forget is taken directly from the mark schemes at the end of mitosis and the process of mitosis we're going to look at in a lot more detail in the next video, a specification point C, but at the end we have cytokinesis, cytokinesis where we get two uh, cells as a product. So there we are, we've looked at the cell cycle and the processes involved. What we're now going to look at is how it is regulated. So there are a couple of main stages here as to what happens and, and why this happens. So the first thing to note here is that the cell can actually go into something called G0. And G0 occurs after the process of mitosis here. And G0, a cell would enter G0 when it has become fully differentiated. And an example of a cell that's become fully differentiated might be an, a red blood cell or an erythrocyte, a, a root hair cell, it might be a nerve cell. It might be a muscle cell or a cardiac muscle cell. So any of these, uh, they've entered G0 because the cell has become fully differentiated. And you learn more about differentiation in stem cells towards the end of this, uh, this topic, if you did want to have a look at that and remind yourself. Uh, the, another reason why the cell might enter G0 is because the DNA might need repairing. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail shortly, but the cells will try their best to repair the DNA if there's a problem with the DNA rather than kill off that cell. Killing off the cell is like the end and last resort. We have a G1 checkpoint and this occurs between the G1 and S phase and this is to make sure that everything in, and all the chemicals are needed for DNA replication. If not, then the cell will enter G0 where it'll try and rectify those issues. We have a G2 checkpoint, and this is where it would check for any DNA uh, mutations that have occurred within the S phase. It's really important that the daughter cells receive this genetic identical information. It's really important that they receive this so that the proteins will function. And again, if that isn't happening, then the cell will enter G0, where the cell will try and repair the DNA present if there's a problem with it or there's a mutation in it. Uh, in mitosis, just before metaphase, um, we do get a checkpoint there where they check to see that the spindles have aligned correctly. But anything on this slide in a red box is taken directly from the MART schemes. So there we have it. We've looked at the cell cycle, and we've also looked at how the cell cycle is regulated. Um, you do need to be aware of the different checkpoints, especially those that have been highlighted in the red box taken from the mark scheme. Guys, in your exam, please remember, do not use the words it, they, amount or size. Use good scientific and biological terminology that's going to get you as many mark points as possible. It's well worth subscribing and checking out the other videos as well to help you towards your exams as they stress out to you the mark scheme points. Guys, good luck with your exam.